Hello, one and all, welcome to a very special episode of Theme Park Overview. I'm here, it's me, it's Joe, and I got two great friends by my side. We got Belle and we got Dragon. How are you guys doing on this fine evening? I'm doing all right. What about you? I'm doing mighty fine. So, we are here at the RTPR server. We, we had just finished a one-on-one -on -one recording, which is why the sign is up in the background. But uh, this time around, this very special video is something that we haven't done before on the channel it's it's a reaction video actually i don't think roblox reaction videos are common especially in the theme park community no they're absolutely not but i mean everything has their start somewhere and i guess this is how we do ours Alrighty. well this hopefully one and only reaction is brought to us by the like button yep that's what i'm going with so we will be reacting to the new up-and-coming Roblox theme park set to hit very soon in the year of 2022, probably late 2022, I'll say, is Magicverse, created by uh, Trev, Trevgin, and members of the once former, I would say, great side of the Magic Kingdom Parks and Resorts group. So, does, does anyone here, at least in this little call, know about magic verse besides myself well i don't have to say much because you already know i know about it true yes yes dragon do you know anything about magic verse all i know is that magic verse is i guess what i've seen in the discord server it's what was planned for magic in the roblox but couldn't make it in the final cut at least from what i've heard mm -hmm. yeah uh there was a lot of things that trev had planned for magic in the parks resorts but Ultimately, what ended up happening was a lot of, uh, in essence, corporate sponsorships and promotional material. Take a look at the, the NPCs that roam the park and the voice emotes. They hindered away from the ability of actually being at a Roblox theme park and more of uh, cash grabbing or uh, money laundry, as they're called, for the developers who worked on the project. Anywho, uh... So we're going to be reacting to the new teaser trailer that actually, at the time of this recording, just dropped about, I would say, a half hour ago. So, you guys ready to watch the video? Yeah, sure, I really am, so... Once in a blue moon, something truly magical comes along. and changes everything. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dream that you wish will come true. This is Magic Verse Roblox. That's pretty all right. That was actually pretty good. I, I, I will admit to that. Bell, uh, <laughs> first reactions to the reaction video? <laughs> <laughs> um, I like their song choice, it was quite nice. First thing that stu stuck out to me is that whoever does their videos, the same, probably the same person who did their videos for like Magic Kingdom Roblox knows what they're doing. They have really good teaser and trailer videos. Park looks interesting. I will say, I'm always a little skeptical on uh, Disney castles that have their tallest tower on the left side, and not the right. It, look it looks kind of- it doesn't sit well with me, it's the same issue I have like Hong Kong's real castle. Oh. It, it just looks kind of off. Yeah. I know I like their castle. It's just, it's kind of weird, but it's not sad. It just looks like a promising park. Uh huh. Dragon? I mean, it wasn't much. It was more of a teaser trailer, if anything, but at least it gave me enough interest to see what's going to come next. I really did like the animation and the visuals, so that looked nice. Yeah, I believe, uh, to your point, Bell, I believe it was Trevor or Trevgin that did uh, all the animations for. The teaser trailer he also did it for one of his former projects um Rogue force was the company and they did the rogue paradox he was the one that did that teaser trailer and promoted that up hyped the moon so this being uh what he has called his passion project definitely did a great job with the teaser and speaking of trev i have been tasked and i'm probably going to get yelled at when the video drops but I have exclusives 
about this magic verse passion project of Trev's. You you guys want to hear it? Are we allowed to talk about this? <laughs> this this has been approved by the king of Trevverse, which is Trev. He he's allowing me to say this during this video. So all right, I say go for it then. So. If everything goes according to plan, this is what's going to happen. 50% of the rides will be recreation. So that basically means Splash Mountain, which has been uh, said previously before, will come to the park, as well as Mickey and Minnie's Rotorail Railway. Uh, those will be recreations. The other percentage of the ride that will be in the park, 50% of them, will be somewhat of a custom-based system. It will be... Our original IP, but it will also be based on existing attractions in Walt Disney World and Disneyland. So, an example for that is Pretend Mystic Tours. It's an original IP, but it was based on J the Jungle Cruise. And an example of that is, actually has been announced, it is called Star Realm Racers, which is... Uh, an attraction heavily based around Radiator Springs Racers at Disneyland California Adventure. So, all of those have been announced. Also, already been announced before we get to the exclusives that I have. Okay. There will be five major lands in the park, which are very interesting. Uh, one of them is known as Critter Creek. That's very reminiscent to something I know of. That being like Critter Country and Frontierland. I don't know if it's going to be that, but it's a cool concept. Uh, we have the Boulevard, which I imagine is probably going to be some type of Hollywood Studios-esque. Maybe that's where Runner Railway might go. Uh, you have Fairytale Land, which is, I guess, their version of Fantasyland. Star Realm, which is probably where the Star Realm Racers is going. And then, of course, you have Main Street with the castle. And actually, we saw a bit of Main Street in the teaser. Those buildings kind of look like the old version 3 of uh, Magic Kingdom Parks Resorts in an, in, in an era. So that's pretty cool to see something like that come back. Other interesting things. They're, one of their shows that they're going to do is called Our Wonderful World, a story about the environment. Uh, it's presented by... You mean David Attenborough and Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, that person. Also, they're doing a fireworks show called Magic Verse Enchantment. Hopefully, it is better than the one in real life. And actually, just released now, their first store is going to be a Magic Verse Pride. Because every month is Pride Month at Magic Verse. So, that's everything that's been announced. Now, here's the things that hasn't been announced that we can exclusively say will happen. Can uh, I add in my question? Yeah. Um, as I think most of us know, um, apparently Magic Versus... Um, okay. As far as I know, probably the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will probably be closer to being opened in time for the launch. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, we'll be interested to see what they do with Hollywood Studios, of course. Uh, I want to say uh, maybe yeah. like a few weeks ago, Bell, was it? Uh... Trev bought the Disney's Hollywood Studios project away from Sony. Um, I haven't heard anything, but then again, I know that Sony has, up to the purchase of Hollywood Studios, Sony has definitely been working on it being a recreation. Um, mm -hmm. I can almost see it be something like Magic Kingdom Parks and Resorts version of... Uh, their version of Epcot, which was known as Magic Magic Cop, or something to that nature, where it was going to be Epcot, but Magic Kingdom Parks okay. resorts affied, let's say, and have recreations and customs. But yeah, no, it'll be very interesting to see what they do with Hollywood Studios, definitely. Um, and now the big exclusive. If everything goes according to plan, the current launch of magic verse uh will be very early 2023 it could be in uh, uh, will be in the month of january is the current launch that is scheduled it could be the 21st of january it could be the first of january perfect for new year's day and celebrating 
the year of 2023. It could be late well, we'll January. January. It could be middle of yeah, January. Gen- I don't know what date it is particularly. I just know it's very early of 2023. Yeah. Uh, but those are all the exclusives that I know. Also, I think I figured out they're also going to do story mode again. Uh, which is a project that I know Trev wanted to do for a very, very long time with story mode. Um, he tried to do it at Magic Kingdom Parks Resorts with the whole, like, airplane, I think it was, uh, through promotional art. But obviously that, it's not happening anymore because Magic Kingdom Parks Resorts kind of just doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it's there, um, but it's not a factor anymore, which is sad but also like genuinely excited for the future i mean it's kind of hard to comment because uh as we know this is a very short teaser teaser. yeah no it's it's 40 seconds (laughs) yeah it's only 40 seconds it was good but there's not much to go off of this is the first only shows like i'm assuming the first area in the teaser wasn't even in the park it's like an area built for the teaser yeah i think it's somewhere like away yeah, and then you actually have the park. You you can see if you look at the corner of that first sh- uh first slide whatever, you can see the flags like of a uh... I think either the first area was purpose built for the trailer or it's going to be a part of their like story mode that I think you mentioned. Yeah. You start in your house and you go have a trip to the park, something like that. True. I mean, it does also have, uh, like, Once Upon a Time as, like, a uh, story. So it'd be very interesting to see what they do with that as well. Yeah. If that leads to a story mode, or if, or if it's just for the teaser trailer, even. Looking back at the trailer, their main street, I just noticed it. It's Walt Disney World's main street, but it's shortened to, like, Shanghai's main street, which makes me feel a little weird as well. Yeah. No, like I like I said, their main street is very similar to when they, uh, when they opened for the third time i would say because trev and his journeys of magic kingdom parks resorts definitely had its ups and definitely had its downs um i think in total there were six versions of magic kingdom parks and resorts to my knowledge there probably was a seventh this this seems a lot like the main street of that old classic uh magic kingdom parks resorts that everyone knew back in 2018 and 2019 which is it's very cool seeing that main street again Well, that's all we have here from this probably one-off reaction video. Who knows? This might become a thing more often if other theme parks actually make videos, (laughs) you know? I guess. But, yeah, we will see you guys next time. Everyone say bye. Bye. Yeah.